all items in GPO, how to get them, and what they do. I'm PG. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe if you're new because this video took me some time, but I thought it'd be really helpful. So here we are. With that being said, let's start with the accessories. Eye patch, 50% drop rate. Can be obtained the town of beginnings by defeating the bandit boss, plus 5 HP. Metal jaw, 25% drop rate. Can be obtained in Shell Town by defeating Logan, plus 25 HP. Buggy's cape, 10% drop rate. Can be obtained in Orange Town by defeating Buggy, plus 50 HP. Now if you see somebody with all three of these, they probably knew, just let them be bro. Gravito's cape, 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Gravito at Gravito's Fort, plus 60 HP. Marine Captain's cape, 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Admiral Zeke at Marine Base G1, plus 50 HP, plus 2 stamina regen. Captain Zen's cape, 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Whitebeard at Marine Base G1, plus 75 HP, plus 2 HP regen. Stupid Monkey Crap, 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Gorilla King at Sphinx Island, plus 1 HP regen. Guardian Helmet, 5% drop rate. You get this by defeating Mr. Shi Shi Swan at Sky Island. Destroy him. Neptune's Crown, 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Neptune at Fishman Island, plus 1.5 HP regen. Shark Necklace, 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Ryu at Fishman Island, plus one stamina regen. Now the next three items got a five to 25% drop rate and you get them through dungeons. Ice necklace can be obtained by defeating the Hiei boss, plus 10% reduced freeze damage. Flame scarf can be obtained by defeating the Mera boss, plus 15 reduced burn damage. Lantern of hope can be obtained by defeating the Pika boss, plus 0.5 HP regen. Kingdom Guard Outfit can be obtained by defeating Kingdom Guards of the Desert Kingdom, plus 65 HP. Barrel Ashkin's Cape, 5% drop rate can be obtained by defeating Crocodile in Desert Kingdom. Plus 75 HP, plus 1 HP regen. Chose Crown, 5% drop rate. Get this by defeating the Crab King in Desert Kingdom. Drums, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Thunder God Edoru in Sky Island. Plus 2 stamina regen, plus 50 HP. People love those drums. Slayer's Mask, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Sea Serpent in Rough Water. 0.5% base reduced damage. Slayer's Armor, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Sea Serpent in Rough Waters. Plus 75 HP, plus 2 stamina regen, plus 1 base reduced damage. Kraken Armor, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Kraken in Rough Waters. Plus 100 HP, plus 2 stamina regen, plus 1% base reduced damage. When it comes to Kraken Armor, there are a couple different colors you can get. There's a rarity system. Red's the least rare, Azure is the rarest. Anything in the middle, you could probably make a good trade for. Kraken Cape, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Kraken in rough waters. Plus 60 HP, plus 1.5 HP regen. Now for the Mushashi accessories. Mushashi's hat, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Mushashi, but you only have 5 attempts to get it. Plus 40 HP, plus 1 HP regen. 2% buff in sword damage, but, but I don't know if this works honestly, but I, I swear it wasn't helping me. Mushashi's Karuta, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by Mushashi as well, 5 attempts, plus 50 HP, plus 2 stamina regen, plus 3% sword damage. Also, don't know how well this works because it didn't work for me. Down bad. Bro. Now we got the event items that likely you can only obtain by trading. Let's start with the Easter event. Starshade, plus 15 HP. Rainbow Halo. Plus 15 HP. Bunny hoodie. Plus 2 stamina regen. I like my bunny years. Christmas event. 2020-2021. Elf hat. Plus 1 stamina regen. Santa hat. Plus 1 HP regen. Santa outfit. Ho 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 mother. Halloween event. Zombie outfit and witch outfit. Just for aesthetic. Ball's cape. Plus 66 HP. 15% reduced burn damage. Jester hat. Plus 35 HP. Plus 1 health regen. 15% reduced burn and freeze damage. Jester outfit. Just for aesthetic. And don't forget, the Halloween event also gave us the Jester box and Ball's head. Now how y'all want to use these is up to you. Sea Serpent score. 1% drop rate. You get this by defeating the Sea Serpent in rough waters. Kraken core. 1% drop rate. You get this by defeating the Kraken in rough waters. Now these first three bolts can be found in Town of Beginnings. And I bet you guessed it. Robo. 75 Pelly. Moves at 25 meters per second. Carabao, 2,000 Pelly, moves at 45 meters per second. Galliar, 15,000 Pelly, moves at 75 meters per second. Those three bolts you can buy, and there's only one more obtainable bolt in the game. The Hoverboard, 1% drop rate. You can get this from defeating Gravito, and can also be bought for 3,000 Robux. Travel 70 MPS, 
and 95 when you have Zushi. The last two bolts can only be bought with Robux or traded for. Coffee Bolt, 2,222 Robux, moves at 85 MPS. Striker Bolt, 3,000 Robux, moves at 70 MPS, but 100 MPS if you have the Mara Fruit. Fastest bolt in the game. Now with that being said, it's time to go over what you've really been waiting for. Starting with the weapon. Pistol, 175 Pelican, can be found in Town of Beginnings. Rifle, 300 Pelican, also found in Town of Beginnings. Katana, 999 Pelican, and located at Roka Island. 5 base damage. Bazooka, 25% drop rate, can be obtained by defeating Lucid at Sandora. 15 base damage. Terra Bot, 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Arlong at Sharp Park. 8 base damage. Sky Blue Katana. 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Head Guardian, aka Mr. Shishi Swamp. 6 base damage. Bird Bazooka. 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Bruno at Sky Island. Shotgun. 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Malcolm at Sky Island. Golden Staff. 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating NL at Sky Island. 7 base damage. 8 with Gora. Ryu Blade. 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Ryu at Fishman Island. 9 base damage. Neptune's Trident. 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Neptune at Fishman Island. 8 base damage. Gravity Blade. 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Grabito at Grabito's Fort. 8 base damage. Sea Beast Katana. 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Sea Serpent in Rough Waters. 8 base damage. Bicentral. 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Whitebeard at Marine Base G1. 10 base damage. Crab Cutlass, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Crab King Choba, Alabasta, 8 base damage. Golden Hook, 5% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Crocodile at Alabasta, 7 base damage. Kraken Katana, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Kraken in Rough Water, 10 base damage. Kraken Blade, 1% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Kraken in Rough Water, 10 base damage. Musashi's Crimson Katana, 100% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Mushashi at Shashi Island. 11 base damage. Mushashi's Rose Katana. 50% drop rate. Can be obtained by defeating Mushashi at Shashi Island. 11 base damage. And now for the event items that can likely only be obtained by trading. Santa's Bells. 7 base damage. Demon Jester Sight. 7 base damage. Hollow Fang. 5 base damage. Festival Shield. 7 base damage. Festival Lancer. 7 base damage. As of now, you can still get the shield and the Lancer, so try your best. But if you're looking for the rarest items, this is what they are. Elo Hammer, 10 base damage. Flower Bouquet, 5 base damage. Santa's Candy Cane, 7 base damage. And for the rarest item of them all, you better off finding a Tori. Prestige Candy Cane, 7 base damage. Now all those items came from events. Will those events come back? Who knows? But as of now, a lot of them are unobtainable unless you trade for them. So good luck, GPO players. Now last but not least, we got the Devil Fruits. Now all of these can be obtained by either dungeon farming, kraken farming, marine ship farming, or by finding them when they randomly spawn around the map. Depending on your level and build, some methods are better than others. But let's go over the drop rate percents of all the fruit, starting with the common. Common fruit, 69.5% spawn rate. In this category, we have the legendary Suke Suke no Mi, Kilo Kilo no Mi, Spin Fruit, Try out. JK, if y'all have one of these, um... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, rare fruit, 26% drop rate. The rare fruits consist of gum gum, bari bari, marrow marrow, bobo bobo, and horo horo. Legendary fruits, 8% drop rate. 8%. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I guess. It ain't 8% for me, I'll tell you that. We got zushi zushi, gura gura, hie hie, goro goro, mera mera, suna suna, megu megu, and pika pika. Pika Pika! Yeah! Last but not least, we got the mythical fruits with the 1% drop rate. And there's only one of these as of now. Tori Tori no Me. Well, there you have it. That's all the items in Grand Peace Online. And oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm out of saliva, bro. I can't speak no more. I'm Fiji. I hope this video helps you out. Share it with your friends. Let them know. Based on the drop rate percents, based on the items, figure out what you could trade and make good trades. Don't get scammed, bro. Trust me. Like the video. Subscribe for new. I appreciate y'all watching. Let me know if you want another guide or what you want to see next. Check out my leveling guide or fighting the bosses series if you have it. More videos on the way. Until next time, y'all. We out. Peace.